In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple chicken and sweet potatoes pepper soup. Now, if you are a lover of sweet potatoes, then you definitely love this recipe. Let's get right into it, shall we? For this recipe, you'll be needing some sweet potatoes. I have already peeled and washed mine and cut them into bite-sized chunks. You'd also be needing some chicken pieces. I'm using some boneless chicken thighs. You can use any chicken part of your choice. I'm using some onions, scent leaves. I would also be adding this pepper and onions blend mix, some chopped fresh peppers, the pepper soup spice, some crayfish powder, garlic paste, seasoning powder, and salt to taste. As usual, the full ingredient list will be on our website and the link will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out there, okay? Now, this is gonna be a very quick and speedy meal, so pay close attention, okay? <laughs> First, start by grabbing the sweet potatoes and transfer to a pot that's already heating up on medium heat. Afterwards, grab the chicken pieces and add to the pot as well. My chicken pieces are thoroughly washed, okay? Afterwards, I grab the pepper onions blend. Now in this mixture, I simply just have one tatashi. I have some chili peppers and I also have lots of onions and garlic as well. And then grab the pepper soup spice and pour into the pot as well. The crayfish powder goes in next, followed by the seasoning powder, the chopped chili peppers, and the garlic paste as well. Finally, I season this with some salt and then I add enough water to cook this through. Remember, it's pepper soup. Add enough water to just cover the entire surface of the sweet potatoes and the chicken pieces. Now, afterwards, just give this all a good mix to combine everything together. It's already looking so yummy. <laughs> And then you cover up the pot and allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes on very low heat, guys. Afterwards, just open up the pot and look at that, guys. It's already looking super duper good. <laughs> and the aroma in the kitchen is heavenly. We are not done yet. We're going to be adding one final ingredient to this dish. And it's going to be the scent leaves, which would add a depth of flavor bring its lovely unique aroma and of course give this pepper soup a lot of life and freshness. Add as much scent leaves as you can take and then give it a final stir just to incorporate it into the pepper soup. And that's it guys, the pepper soup is as good as ready. Look at that guys. Now, before we serve, I would like to just take some time to let you know that you can still pre-order a copy of my new cookbook, Winnie's Sizzling Selections. Now, this cookbook is the only cookbook that you would need to level up on your healthy eating journey this year. It's filled with lots of mouth-watering recipes, over 100 plant-based recipes, low-carb recipes, detox recipes, and then some comfort food recipes. So you definitely should have a copy of this book, okay? Because it's definitely worth it. And then you can just support a sister, okay? a lot of work went into the creation of this cookbook just click the link in the description box down below to pre-order a copy for yourself or for your loved ones today okay so finally i'll just serve up my pepper soup in a bowl now pepper soup made with chicken and sweet potatoes are literally a match made in heaven you definitely should try it out the sweetness from the sweet potatoes and then the savory taste of the pepper soup and the chicken just gives it the perfect balance and the perfect blend. You definitely want to try out this recipe. If you'll be trying it out, let me know. My job here is done. I'll see you next time with another mouth-watching and delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously. And it's me, the queen of fun and bad cooking, signing out right now. Take care, guys.